story perhaps the message is if politicians have had a go they've failed miserably let's give it to people who know something about it you know, I think what has happened Noel is there's a recognition now that the minister has failed failed to listen and failed to get well, a consensus. The statement fr from the churchman says politicians and the minister. Well obviously the, the ministers are, are being clear in one thing and that is there needs to be a resolution of the issue and what we currently have is a situation where the minister has by various uh, statements threatened primary schools, he has said to uh, teachers that they'll be uh, brought under the cosh of the inspectorate. Your language, not hers. But obviously there is great concern. I, I was at a public meeting of parents and teachers in West Tyrone last night and clearly there is confusion out there because the Minister has created deliberately a situation whereby she wants to try and give the impression that somehow she has brought about a mon monumental change but she has brought about monumental confusion. Mm. And the Ministers are simply saying that what needs to be done is an interim uh, test, an interim uh, test set by SIA and remember this is now uh, falling on from what we have said as a political party and what other political parties have said, All the right. Alliance Party, right. but, the Ulster But, but longer term, this working group, they say it should be largely made up of people who work in education, not politicians. Is that a fair point? Ultimately the decision has to be made by politicians because at the end of the day we're talking about an education system that is funded by the taxpayer as a result of the administration. So therefore you cannot have a situation where solely the decision will be taken by education. No, but get them to draw it up then you rubber stamp it. But I think that they can have an input and they have to have, because unfortunately they've had an input in the past but the minister failed to listen. Mm.